G'day guys, welcome to another Tuesday night in the Man Cave. I'm sorry, but it's gonna be a very short one. Of course, I had that wedding at Hamilton Island and some bloody kerfuffles going on, um, purely to me being a bloody dickhead. Um, so all we've got going on is um, finishing up of that, uh, the welding. Yeah, it is the finish. It's the finish of the bloody Goanna Cooker, the welding project. And I've got some little bit of footage from Hamilton Island and that's about it. As you can see now, there are a whole... I've been inundated with, um... Uh, what do you call it? Bloody mail! It's fantastic! But I just don't have the time. It's now nine, uh, 9 o'clock. It's now Monday night, late at night, and I've got to get this rendered and uploaded tonight um, for YouTube. So it's showing you right now what you're seeing as Tuesday night in the Man Cave. So, let's not muck around and let's go and check out this welding project. Alright guys, so we've got a little bit more just to go on this, uh, on the Goanna cooker. Um, so this is the bottom part, and what I've got to do is, I'll bring you over. So this is the bottom of the, of the bloody Goanna cooker, and I've got to fill up these holes here. Just not fill them totally, just half the, so they're kind of like smaller holes. Because I found that uh, it was letting like big embers coming out, and I think that's not, a, not exactly a bloody good thing to be happening. So, this is the plan. So I'm going to use some of this leftover grate that I cut out. So you can see there, that, that circle, I'm going to cut that out. And that will sit on top of there and get welded on there. And then I'm going to use this. I've got some leftover bloody uh, steel plate. And I'm just going to cut little strips and then weld that. So that it'll basically do that. It'll be thinner than that though. Cool, let's get into it. Alright guys, so that is now, everything's all done and set, ready to go. So what we've got is that thing there will be welded and then all these, all the way around, I'll weld all them in. So that's going to halve that so the big stuff won't be able to come through. Now I'm not going to show you that because it'll be just, you've seen enough of me welding and grinding on this bloody project. And then I've got one, so I'll show you the finished product of that. And then I've got a bit of high temp white paint. Um, and that's of no bloody benefit to anything, it just might look a little cool. Alright, I'm getting into it. All grinded up, ready to weld. Righto guys, got it all done. Uh, there it is, everything is welded on. Nothing fantastic, but it will do the job. So now, get a bit of this pot belly black, spray that. Bob's your bloody uncle. Well, there you go, guys. That's all bloody uh, spray painted up. Just rough. I didn't do any prep on it. That'll all go to that, that colour there when it dries up. All right, so now I've got to do the, the cool thing with that white bloody uh, high temp sp uh, spray paint. What the hell's a dog barking at? Motorbike. Um, to do that, yeah, I'm going to do that cool thing anyway. I've got a bit of prep to do to get that done. Cool. All right, guys, it's the next bloody morning. And I'm very excited to show you the finished product of the Goanna cooker. And here it is. Check that out. <laughs> oh my God, I am just one big kid, but I love it. I'm so wrapped with this, how this has bloody come up. I never thought I would have been able to do something like this.
So what do you reckon, guys? <laughs> did I do a good job? I reckon I did a good job. Um, I'll give you a look inside. Uh, a little bloody doodad. You can see I, uh, all those holes been halved. And then that uh, little great thing over there. So I suppose now, all I've got to do is fire it up. Okay, wood's chopped. Wood, thanks to Nay's wood shop. Ignition. Ready for cooking. Well, there you go, guys. That's uh, working a bloody treat. There's a few quirky bits and pieces with it. I mean, obviously, there's no side, so I'm losing a few bits of the uh, the onion off the side there. Um, the bloody uh, warmer thing up here, that's bloody working brilliant. Um, but I did notice, like, these side bits here, kind of like when you want to grab the snags, you've got to go in through that way. So, but there you go. For a welding project that I just wanted to learn how to uh, to weld, I think it's turned out pretty bloody good. All right, I'm going to grab some bread and uh, eat these snacks. Well, there you go, guys. Doesn't get any more uh, Aussie than that. Oh. That is good stuff. Back to the man cave. All right, so we're now going to bloody Hamilton Island and I'll show you up here whereabouts it is. All right, guys, so me and they are down here in Victoria, then that's Bendigo. And basically we go up the east coast of Australia. Oh, where are we? We're all the way, where's Townsville, back down to Mackay. And there it is, Hamilton Island, just off the coast. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, we've made it to Hamilton Island. We had big dramas yesterday. Nay and I missed the bloody plane. There was a bit of a kerfuffle. It was mostly our fault. First time I've ever missed a plane. And of all the times, my daughter's getting married today and we have only just arrived. It's now 12 o'clock. Nay's in the shower um, and the wedding's at two o'clock. I've got to get to uh, Taylor's uh, thing by one o'clock. So everything's rush, rush, rush. We've been picked up by bloody buggies and quickly shuffled here. So anyway, this is uh, Hamilton Island. Very, very pretty. Um, it's up off the coast of Queensland, off, Mac uh, off Mackay. Now this is the island that got hit with the cyclone only a couple of weeks ago. So you can see all the palm trees. They're all very damaged. But yeah, still a very pretty place. And if we go down, whoa, we're a long way up. Alright guys, so that's it. That's that's all I got. I've got to bloody get moving. Back to the man cave. Alright, alright, I know that wasn't enough from Hamilton Island. Here's a little bit more. I thought I'd show you us uh, driving around bloody Hamilton Island on one of these little uh, buggy bloody things, electric buggies. We're going downhill, my foot, my bloody pedal is way down and this is top speed. <laughs> yeah, so you see, as you're going around you certainly see uh, a fair amount of damage. But all in all, 
Yeah, oh look, if you look over there, two grooves and stuff like that. But all in all, it's pretty bloody good. Get some really good scenery. We just went up the top of the hill. Oh. Anyway, cool bananas. Well, there you go, guys. So we had an absolute ball. I got to walk my daughter down the bloody aisle. Made it to Hamilton Island with two hours to spare. Can you believe it? What a bloody idiot. Anyway, a funny story is when we were actually leaving, um, while we were away, Matt, which is Nay's, you know Matt, most of you guys know Matt, that's Nay's oldest son. He was doing, uh, for th he was going to do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but because we missed the plane, we actually came back to Bendigo on Wednesday and we were able to do the orders for Biker Bits. So Matt did Thursday and Friday the order. So he actually, he's a painter and he had his bloody, he had to, you know, travel and do his painting and then he'd come back in time to bloody do up all the orders and then get them off to the, um, off to the, the bloody post office. Anyway, so I thought I'd do a nice thing. I'd do a nice thing. We're in the souvenir shop and I thought, cool, a knife. Matt would love a souvenir knife from bloody Hamilton Island. And me and they didn't actually have baggage we only had you know carry on stuff we just traveled pretty bloody light makes things a lot easier so um, you got to remember if you've only got carry on don't buy a knife <laughs> but if you do do what I did get Nay to carry the knife so that when she goes through the scanner the kerfuffle goes off <laughs> and um, she's the one with the bloody knife <laughs> It ended up being all right. One of the, one of the security guys, I think he just he just seen that we just we we totally stuffed up and we're pretty bloody honest people, and um, he he's um, mailing it to us. Just not part of their service. That was just he said no worries, mate. I'll mail it to you. Um, so hopefully that turns up in the mail. There you go. Don't carry a knife with your carry on. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so next week I'll have. Lots of bloody stuff and bits and pieces, and I'll do all those um, that mail stuff. I'm going to try and do it so that it's because there's a lot, and I know, you know, if you don't have your stickers and stuff like that, some of it, you know, might get a little bit boring. I suppose I don't know the way I read, um, so I'm going to try and jazzy it up a little bit, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, have a great week, and remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on bloody keeping on. <laughs>